Hello, Chikarmi. Hello, fans. Hello, everyone watching at home. Leonard F. Chikarison here uh, with a unique opportunity uh, to speak with someone relatively new to Chikar, but someone that you're probably watching at home know, a man who has a lot of controversy behind him. Uh, man across the table from me, Kevin Condren, thank you for taking the time and opportunity out of your busy schedule to join me here today. So let's kind of start things off with... Uh, why wrestling? What made you choose professional wrestling? I think it's very simple. I'm an artist, and wrestling provides an artistic outlet that not a lot of other mediums do provide. Um, I can get some aggression out, I can be creative in how aggressive I get or what I do, but uh, at the end of the day, it's just probably the most unique uh, art form that there is, and I can't see myself doing anything else relatively new and by that I mean your face but you've been around for a while um, you know I think a lot of our fans might know you a little bit better last year as Kid Cyclone but you chose to take your mask off almost unprecedented I think three times in the history of professional wrestling someone chosen to unmask themselves and you did so at our season finale back in December what was the impetus for that? I think what it all boils down to is the word that you just used choice it's it's I was given that mask, more or less it was forced on me. I never asked for it. And I, even when I was told, this is something you're gonna wear, this is who you're gonna be, it's, it wasn't me. You understand? I felt that it was, tradition was being forced on me and it was a, tr it was a tradition that I didn't understand. Um, I didn't quite fully get uh, the history of masks and what it truly meant. And, and I, frankly, I, I never really liked it. I never liked the mask. I didn't want to cover my face. And, I guess I got pushed to the point where it was like, everyone was making decisions for me. And I had to make my own decision and I had to kind of, you know, start blazing my own trail. And, and the only way to do that was to, you know, to use who I really am and to be who I really am. You mentioned you didn't get the mask, you weren't behind the mask, but there were a lot of people who believed in you, whether it be fans, but there were other students as well who followed along with you. And you mentioned about making your own decisions and you were told what to do. You know, a lot of people, I'm sure, remember King of Trios. You were told, uh, you were asked, impl people implored you not to do what you were doing, but you took it upon yourself with people by your side. And, uh, you know... Let's just cut, to, let's cut okay. right down to it. Let's cut to what, what I actually did. I rounded up my friends. I rounded up the people that I trusted, and we went, we tried to change things. We tried to end the reign of terror. Okay, last year was terrible. It was the worst year I've ever had in wrestling. Do you know how many people we lost? It was well into the double digits. Double yeah. digits. That's inexcusable. And I'm sorry, but when I, I rounded up the people that I believed in and, and they believed in me back, it wasn't just a one-way street. I wasn't some wayward leader. I wasn't just going off on my own. I was trying to inspire guys like Dasher Hatfield and Icarus and Touchdown and, you know, all these guys who had been here for a while. I was trying to inspire them to, to stand up and do something. But instead, they watched. They listened to the director's orders and they sat back as, as well, 